as shrewd Fujifilm users, you probably know that sometimes you get what you pay for, but we've got something here that may have something to say about that. The Viltrux 85mm f1.8 autofocus lens for Fuji. Let's check it out. Let's see what we get then for £309 thereabouts. Let's slide that out if it wants to come out. Get rid of that. Another sealed piece here. Let's see what we've got in here. Built trucks, lens, pouch, nothing to write home about, that's fine. Warranty card. I got mine from Amazon, so I would expect to have plenty of protection there, but I've had little chats with the people at Viltrox, so I got a contact there if need be for whatever that's worth. And let's get that out. And it looks like we're down to the main event. Weighty number, nice snap cap there. Some big glass, I gotta say everything Feels really quite tight from the box to the lens itself. Feels good in the hand. It is a chunky number. A5 F18 emblazoned there. X mount down there. Let's look at that mount. As you'd hope and expect. Nice clean metal mount. USB for firmware upgrades there. I am going to be doing that just to make sure. We've got screw thread inside there. 72 mil thread showing as closest focus of 0.8 meters or 2.26 foot not expecting particularly close focusing from this manual focus ring smooth steady not too light yeah that's pretty nice it would be cool to use it on some of the smaller and slower bodies actually on on this t3 which to be fair does have an l bracket grip but you know it's a muchness <sighs> I think it looks good actually it is big looks pretty cool and for the people that care it looks pretty pro <laughs> whatever we need to get out and play with it do some autofocus tests throw up some random stills and get back and let you know what we think and then have a chat below you know business as usual but possibly with an exciting twist You see this PFU RBMH and the Chinese lettering, according to Viltrox, that effectively means to be modest and to hold on to the original intention. So does this lens achieve that? I mean, I guess they could have put that somewhere <laughs> on the box. 309 pounds or whatever in dollars, the price is modest for what we're getting from this. It feels good, it's solid, and it performs extremely well at considering the price. I hate to say that, but that's what it's all about, considering the price. I would say that Viltrux have shown that it can be done. Now we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, whether they're hemorrhaging money, whatever. We know that it's not that well marketed, and originally not a lot of stock out there, but that's to be expected from a smaller manufacturer. But do they deserve your support? I think so. For me, this is a spot-on portrait lens for the Fuji system. As you know, I used it on the T3, and frankly, the rendering, very nice. The character of the image, sweet. You can tell it lends itself towards a portrait. By the way that it renders the face, it's not too soft, it's sharp, but it doesn't 
overly criticize <laughs> the details of a person you know you can make a flattering image without having to scale back on the finer details in post that's not to say that the lens isn't sharp it really is most of you considering it's a portrait lens probably won't be stopping down but well i had a little bit of fun did a bit of a test on my most loyal friend teddit and stopping down was an absolute treat <laughs> Wide open, you do get a bit of vignetting outdoors, not such a big deal, indoors noticeable, but stop down just a tiny bit and it all goes away. And plus, you may even enjoy a bit of that vignetting, or if you're shooting raw, you can easily get rid of that. I think this is cracking for headshots, portraits, maybe not so amazing for documentary work if you're a really fast shooter, but I went out and I shot that kind of style just a bit of fun at harborn carnival in birmingham before it went gray and particularly rough and actually i came home with a lot more keepers than i realized it did perform very well the autofocus speed as i think you'll see in the next rather random test is actually very very good i mean i'm going to throw up another video with all my random samples and the autofocus tests again but this is the main autofocus test that did it for me i mean for me frankly i like to just get out and shoot the thing but now that i'm messing about with this way of recording the screen i think you can appreciate that it's locking on nice and fast and the majority of us will be more than happy using this lens with the autofocus as it is repeat it one more time then the build quality is solid but there's no weather resistance which you may need and you might be looking at the 90 mil different focal length but it has weather resistance and a similar f stuff people compare these lenses when they're not actually direct equivalents but nearest equivalents no aperture ring that could be something that's a little bit annoying you can just switch use the command dial there it's not a big deal once you get used to that I do like an aperture ring, but I think considering I can live without it. I've had some time to think about it, play, meditate, calm down, and yes, nice value lens. It's a chunky number, it's a solid number, it's not light at all, but it performs well, and I'd be happy shooting pro portraits with this at least the style that i'm shooting and documentary style yeah i know that some of you loyal subscribers have been waiting for this review and i hope that it really lived up to expectations if not leave a comment below and we can all share our opinions and ideas and then maybe you'll decide to buy it and let us know what you think remember it's just me but now it's all about you leave a comment below make sure you're subscribed that's the only way that we can keep going with your support. So massive thank you. And well, we're going to be having a bit more to say about this lens very soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>